All right, today's back day, and I'm going to start out with the lap pull down to the front. We're going to warm up with uh, just 100 pounds. I, I don't like doing cardio and stuff, and like I say in all my videos, so I prefer to just warm up with more warm up sets. So a lot of people's like, I can't do lap pull downs because I'm in the chair because I can't reach the bar. Well, how to fix that? You just pull out the pin, and see the space plate's about five pounds, just depending. You just lift it up, and see how the bar's coming down. So we'll just do about that height. So to show you guys, just shake this to fit it in there. Now the bar is staying down lower. Now depending on your transfer, just drip it, just slide in, just like so. And look, oh, you can reach it. I'm just going to warm up with 15, just find my rhythm. I'll teach more about where to grab it. Find your rhythm. I'll just wear this hoodie thing to keep warm. A warm muscle contracts harder than the cold muscle. And that's about it. Alright, I'm gonna do two more, more warm-up sets and I'll go with more techniques. Woo! Alright, a few things to look for. I already did with three warm-up sets. I did about half the I normally do half the weight that I'm going to start up with, so I'm going to start out with 200. So warm up between 100 and 130 pounds for 15 reps. Alright, now for my first working set, how I'm going to do this, I'm going to, when I drive this down, I'm just going to stop to my, my chin. Really coming down when you pull from the chin level to, to the chest is a lot of bicep. So I want to completely focus in back, and that's why I use wrist wraps, because I'm attaching my hand to the bar. Well, some people's like, well, you know, if you use these, you're gonna, your, your grip's going to be weak. Well, I focus on specific days to strengthen my hand. I, my goal is to just put as much emphasis in my back. And when I drive down, I'm just going to lean back some. When I'm driving, I'm going to focus on driving my elbow down like somebody's peeking at me or pop them in the face. So it brings more back into play. So exhale going down, inhale going up. So you can look how to use the techniques on the wraps. I'm just gonna, for this one, I'm not going to have a super wide grip. I'm just going to keep it about a little bit wider than the shoulder. It's just a different technique that focuses different on the back. So here we go. Ooh. Ooh. doing I go between three to four working sets per muscle group and it just really depends on the day. Now I aim between eight to twelve reps and that time I got twelve reps. So when people say that rep game a lot of people don't know what that really means. Well I'll strive for twelve reps and keep going as heavy as possible. If I can get all twelve reps I'm going too light. Now if I can't get all eight reps I'm going too heavy and that's really the rep feel. You really just got to know your body, but push it to the extreme. Woo! All right, I just finished three working sets with lat front and downs to the, pull, uh, to the front. The next thing I'm going to do is behind the neck pull downs. A little technique up here. I'm still going to drive downwards with the elbows, just like that, but I'm going to stop at the ear level. I'm going to go a little bit wider. The grips is very hot, like what it's going to actually, the muscle grips are going to be brought into the back. So we're going to go a little bit wider, and again, just watch for a the, uh, the bar and my hands to come about ear level. Alright, there we go. It's got 200 pounds on here. So what I'm looking for is stuff about right there. So exhale going out, inhale going up. Ooh. 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 Hey. Three working sets with this and move on to my third exercise. Alright, I just finished my third set of behind the neck lap pull downs. Okay, so I'm trying to aim between 16 and 18 working sets for my back. Now, some people include trap in their back day, but I personally do it in my shoulder day so I can focus more on my lats and my lower back. So, alright, we did two lat pull down motions and I'm, I like to just get the lat pull downs back to back in a row. Now what I'm going to do next is a close grip uh, pull down. And this is going to focus on a different part of my back as well. So, I'm going to perform three working sets here. Same kind of thing, now when I'm sitting here I'm going to sit close to the machine and lean back. Like Fat Joe, lean back. 
Just lean back. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna use the wrist wraps, take the emphasis on the hands. Showing you guys you can do this sitting down. Just make sure you have the, the base lift up. Alright. This, the rips, the wraps just take the emphasis out of the hands. We're about done. Alright, it's tight. We've got 220 pounds on here and in between 8 to 12 reps. Ooh. 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 There's 12 for you. Boom, baby. All right, this is going to be my fourth working exercise. So I did three with the close grip, so that's nine working sets. I'm going to aim between 16 to 18. My back's on fire right now. So the fourth exercise, I'm going to do a machine row. Now there's two grips. You got the low and the underarm. Now I'm going to do it like this because it's going to stimulate a reverse, a reverse barbell move. But I'm sitting vertical and it's using the machine. So I'm just going to grip it and then exhale coming into me, squeezing the back together, inhale going down. Now a couple things. I mix up my back workout between doing lat pull downs, which is the cable, is what we just got done doing. And these are the rowing motions. Two different types. Once these thicken, these, the other ones, the cables, will whip in your back like a cobra. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to do a couple of sets of each filament so you guys can see the intensity. We're going to do between 8 to 12 reps. Keep going up weight. This one's a little bit too far. i got to reach. Alright, I about got it. Yeah, here we go. Let's get adjusted. Here we go. Three down, one up. Alright, I got 12 reps, so it's too late. Gotta move up weight. Alright, I got this thing ready, set, and I got 25s, 10s. Some people just pull out the 25s and grab 35s, but I just add on weight, it's the same difference. Now about the intensity, 8 to 12. Aim for 12, you can't get it, get up to 8. If you can't get 8, you're going too heavy. So here we go. Whoa. You know, I saw that, I just couldn't get them all 12 reps, and I kept pushing, and that's with the intensity you push your body beyond. Alright, now my fifth working exercise is a cable row. Now, some of you guys can't perform it, because I got used to my legs, so I'm going to put it right there when I, when I play it, keep it close to the grip. My legs ain't good stable because I got leg braces, but I just do what I what I can. Now, with this is you want to keep your back straight, and um, as you exhale, come toward you. Inhale as you go down. You don't want to hunch your back because that's going to cause back problems. Keep your chest up, big chest, baby. That's how we do this. Again, it's eight to twelve, and as I just saw my last one, I push myself beyond. That's the key. You want to get big, you got to lift heavy and push yourself beyond. Here we go. Use the wraps, take the emphasis out of the, the grip. Alright, here we go. Alright, come Twelve too light. I did three sets over here. It's going to perform two more here, so that's a total of five working sets. It's going to be 15 working exercises. So that's how I keep track of everything in my mind. I count the sets. All right, for my last working exercise, I'm going to do a straight arm pull down. But I'm going to show you a different variation. It's going to be a single grip, and I'm going to alternate it. So I'm just going to use single grip, and it's going to this is going to bring in the serratus, which is right lateral to the chest, and it's going to give you a nice notches whenever you do a front lat raise or a front double bicep. 
So a lot of people say, how do you get it down in one of my videos? The way you do it, you pull out the pin, you lift up the base plate, and it comes down. So just kind of jiggle this in there, get a fit, and poof, it stays there. So it's in wheelchair reach. <laughs> so I'm just going to come in front of me, and I'm going to pull this straight arm down. I'm not going to bend my elbow and do this thing. This little motion right here is a tricep, so it's going to be a straight arm. So I'm going to be like caveman pushing down like this. Whoa. So it's going to bring it more of the notch. You want, when you come up, you want to exhale, but feel, feel your lat raising. When you open up, you want to feel them pop out. So let me show you. So I'm going to get, I'm going to just grab it here. I'm going to pull it down in starting position. I'm going to come up. Go straight on. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Six, seven, eight. All right, now the thing is, I'm going to swing here in a second, but this is a universal between a back and a chest. Now, some people will do a dumbbell pullover. Now, I prefer to do a straight arm pull down on back because what I'm doing is I'm starting right here about face and coming down, and I feel a lot more back versus a dumbbell pullover when I'm laying on a bench. I'm right here coming up right here, and I feel it more in the chest. So, some people do this on back day, and it brings in the back. But I don't prefer to do that. I feel it more in my chest doing it right here. And I feel more in my back when I do a straight arm pull down. I mean, be a judge for yourself. Once you get the formant technique, see which one you feel it more. Because it's really about getting the best results for your body. I mean, my body's different than your body. All right, another thing is when I do these, I have, I grip it right here. Some people will do the thumb around like this. But that's a little bit dangerous because it'll go up the wrist. I hold it right here on the base of my hand, so I'm just going to pull it down like this. Exhale, going out to find your rhythm and wherever if you don't crack your knuckles. Ah. 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 Mm. There's one set. I got two more to go, baby. To recap my back workout, I did three sets of lat pull downs to the front, three behind the neck, and three with the close grip. And then I did a three machine reverse, uh, cable rows for three, and then straight arm, arm lat pull downs for three. So a total of 18 working sets. So six times three, 18. But also three warm up sets. And that is the conclusion of my back workout.